Good morning. Today's workout does not have a video with it. So I wanted to show you guys some of the moves. And I also wanted to show you some modifications that you can use because some people have injuries or um, certain moves hurt them or we just need to be careful with our joints. So I want to make sure that everybody has a modification. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to show you a few of the things that you might not be familiar with or um, you might think you know, but maybe don't know the um, correct way to do it. So the first one is high knees. And with high knees, you want to make sure that your knees are reaching about your hip level. So you want to bring your knee up this high. And you can continue bringing it up. And you can even give yourself target marks. So a lot of times people will do high knees and they just keep them down here. But when you bring them up high, you actually engage your core, which is important and will give you a better exercise. So there are two ways you could do this. You could do a modified version where you're bringing them up, stepping high, or you could pick up the pace like that, or you could even pick up the pace a little more and do that. Now, the faster pace obviously would be a lot harder to do for one minute in your first five minute section. So you may wanna mix it up um, so do a little bit of marching and stepping and then pick up the pace and then go back down. Um, the next one is front kicks that I wanted to show you. Similar concept where you're kicking out, kicking out. So the first stage would be to kick, just kick. Make sure you're engaging your core and kick. And then the next stage would be to add a little hop in between. And then the next stage would be to kick, 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 kick. And those are front kicks. The next one is uh, jumping jacks. Jumping jacks can be intimidating because there's just a lot of impact. So if you want to do more of a modified jack, instead of really, you know, expanding out and in, I mean, that can put a lot of pressure on your knees. You can step out and that'll still give you a good way to keep your heart rate up. And it might be a good thing to do after you've done something that's a little bit more exhausting. So I definitely encourage you to not skip jumping jacks, just modify them. And you can even do a small jump out with the legs instead of going out really far. You can just jump in and out like that. <clears throat> I'm already out of breath. See, this will be a good workout for you. Lunges can be painful. I mean, people don't do them correctly and um, they end up hurting themselves. So with a lunge, you could just do a simple standing lunge. You can bring that back heel off the ground and just drop down. You wanna make sure your knee doesn't go in front of your toe. And that's where people tend to, that is wrong. This is right. So you could just do lunges and count them. I mean, do 10 on this leg, up and down. You wanna go straight up and down and then 10 on this leg, whatever works for your time, okay? Um, walking lunges, which have a very small space to walk in so that you can still see me. I'm gonna come off just a little bit. So walking lunges, you would go down, you take a step and go down and up, and this would be your walking motion and then down, okay? And you could do two or four, whatever space you have. Turn around, same thing, okay? I'm gonna run out of time if I don't speed up. So we're gonna move on to squats. Is another area where people really um, do them wrong and end up hurting themselves. So squats, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. I'm gonna make sure that my knees do not go in front of my toes. So I'm gonna sit back. This is a squat and up. And I find for me that a wider base of support is better. I like for my knees, my feet to be a little further apart than close together, I mean, that's harder for me. So I like to spread them out and sit back like you're sitting in a chair and then up. So my wider base, sit back like I'm sitting in a chair and up. This is where you're gonna hurt yourself and you're not gonna get the, the exercise. The, the squats are good for your glutes and your quads. So you wanna make sure that you're not, I mean, th this isn't effective for those areas. This is painful and is gonna end up injuring you. This 
is going to get those glutes and those quads and it's going to keep you safe from injury okay and even if you need to hold on to a little something which that's a little low but you know you could be at a counter or somewhere you can have a little something to hold on to and sit back just as deep as you can and it's comfortable and the last thing I hope it'll get cut off is planks planks um, can be done either in a traditional up plank like this or you can come down to your knees. The thing that most people do when they come down to their knees is they just relax and they lay here like this. So you really want to pull your belly button to your core, bring your toes off the ground, okay, and keep that core engaged. And then of course you can do a regular plank. And as you work your way up, you might want to do a modified plank and then just a couple seconds of a regular plank and then back to a modified plank and just, you know, keep challenging yourself and try to um, improve and do better. So I'm always here for you. If you have any questions, just message me or if you need a different modification, just let me know. Have fun.